Charlotte City Council. They are also working to reduce crime on West Boulevard. Voting today on a proposal to flip a deteriorating strip mall into a new commercial space that meets the needs of our community. WCNC Charlotte's Julia Kaufman was in the meeting tonight. A lot covered here, uh, Julia. You're joining us, of course, though, with the plan here. That's right, Colin. So neighborhood leaders tell me the West Boulevard strip mall was once a hotbed for crime. They're hopeful this future remodel will be a fresh start for the decaying property. A developer is buying this vacant strip mall on West Boulevard for $500,000. It was once a negative site for drug and crime activity. Prominent loitering and uh, area where, you know, activities that weren't befitting or didn't speak as well to what the community uh, represents or stands for or supports uh, were happening in that area. The city bought the property in 2022 with plans to sell it to a builder who can turn it into something positive. Monday night, leaders agreed to sell it to Lambert Commercial Real Estate. I'm immensely appreciative of the, the work that they've done to get to a place where the community can feel comfortable that that what will be done here will be supportive of the playbook. Executive Director of the West Boulevard Neighborhood Coalition, Sharika Comfort, says she's excited for the future development. The last thing that you want to see in a thriving community are just uh, abandoned buildings or closed down spaces. So I think it's going to be um, vital to some of the growth that's happening um, to get the, those spaces up and activated. Adding it's imperative builders keep the surrounding community in mind to prevent gentrification. How do we allow people to stay in place while improving communities? We want the residents that have been there to benefit from the changes. Developers are in the early stages of design, but the city says the project will feature small retail stores an improved facade and outdoor community space. Comfort also says she's in communication with the city to ensure the neighborhood coalition is involved in the design process now that the sale has been finalized. Colin.